Okay, you all. So I'm back with another video. Um, the last story time, I talked about the worst date ever, and they kind of led me into my next topic. Um, since I have a lot of ex dating experiences, and I'm like kind of like, I'm not old, but I'm not young either. You know, I'm kind of in between. So I feel like I can give advice to younger women on what to uh, look out for when you're out here dating because. Um, <laughs> I see too many stories the way y'all just I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with this generation today but uh men don't know how to court a woman men don't know how to court women anymore like how it used to be it's different now um all these stories that I'm hearing from women where um the guys making them pay on a date or you know asking them to go Dutch and stuff I never had that and when I be hearing stuff like that I'm like man I need to make a video about this because y'all women <laughs> If just think, if the man asks you out on a date, just think, he asks you out. So, I mean, I understand the whole thing of, you know, you want to have your own money. You don't want to feel like, um, you don't want to feel like, you know, a bill. I don't, I don't know how you want to say it. Um, you don't feel like, you don't want to feel like you're obligated to give him anything, you know, just because he asks you out. And that's not, just think of it like this, like, he asks you out, so... You should, I mean, I don't know. You shouldn't go into thinking like, oh, well, I'm not going to uh, let this guy pay for my date because he might be expecting sex and stuff like that. I mean, you at the end of the day, that's a man. You know, men want sex all the time. You know, that's just his nature. But at the same time, time like, if you go out on a date with him and you pay for the date, like, that's just backwards, you know? That's just how I see it. Um, I've never, and it's not to really... I'm not saying it's to brag on myself and I'm like this. This is, you know, some little helpful tips. But um, I've never been paid for a date. And so when I see women out here talking about, oh, um, I paid half or, you know, he asked me to go Dutch and he stuck me with the bill and he didn't have any money. I just be like, y'all, like, what is y'all out here doing? Like, do I need to come sit on a date with y'all and coach y'all through the day on what, and what to do and what not to do? Like, Y'all gotta, <laughs> I think it go, I think it's a lot with, um, the online, I think it's a lot with online dating too, like, I've never, um, I'm kind of like a, uh, I'm kind of old-fashioned, you know, when it comes to dating, um, I'm a traditional girl, like, I like doing things the, the way I feel like it should be. Like the man is supposed to be courting you, girl. Like he's supposed to be trying to impress you. Like you're not supposed to be going all out for him. He's supposed to be doing it for you. So don't <laughs> Yeah, don't be um I mean it's up to you. It's free will for you. Like if you really wanna if you wanna pay for the day, then go ahead. But he's asking you out. So don't feel guilty about letting a man be a gentleman. You know he's a gentleman. That's his job. He's trying to prove himself to you. So if he wanna pay for the date, let him pay for the date, you know, but it's up to you. If you wanna pay for the date, do it. But what's the point, you know, of paying for the date if he asks you out? Come on now. Like, nah, you know. When I be hearing these stories, I just be shaking my head like, what is y'all? And then the one thing I be hearing a lot um, is, and I was just confused. I'm like, what is going on? And I'm like, this this is another reason why I ain't dating. Because the uh, dating in today's, like in 2021 and 20 and uh, the future, these men, these men finessing y'all. <laughs> Don't let no man finesse you, girl. Like. And these stories where I'm hearing about the, and these these be like with mostly um younger women I see. Now there's some other women too that be getting, you know, be kinda getting y'all be in denial. When y'all be sitting up here talking about some uh well, I don't feel like I got finesse because I just that was just something I wanted to do. No, so it's like you gotta accept that you got finesse because you not supposed to be doing that. Don't be letting no guy um don't be letting no guy run no game on you like that. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm not laughing at you, boo. Um, but all these stories I'm hearing about these men, um, oh, he stuck me with the bill. Uh, he didn't have no money and stuff like that's why y'all need to get to know these men before y'all decide to go out on a date with him. Conversate with him. Don't be trying to set up no that's why I don't do the whole the whole online dating thing because it's like I don't know, it's so impersonal to me. Like 
it's weird to me trying to get to know somebody on that. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's easy for y'all. Maybe y'all can tell me how what their experience is like. But I feel like you should meet a guy the normal way, and um, it's gonna eliminate a lot of um, a lot of this, where you meet the guy online and then y'all set up a date right away. Like you need to have conversations with this dude before you go on a date with him because it's gonna tell you a lot. Like. Don't just be all about, oh, um, this, the, and appearances can fool you. You know, this dude can be, um, be, can be faking his lifestyle online. It's a lot of people faking their lifestyle online. Like, they're not really practicing what they preach, you know? So, he's straight running game on you because you see, they look like he got this lavish life. Like, he posting pictures with his, uh, in the Lamborghini. He at the hottest, um, nightclubs. You know, he posting bands. He got posting bands on top of bands. Like, bands and make her dance. He got bands, girl. In his hand. Like, that's the number one red flag that you should not date him because these dudes be flexing. You know, they don't got that money like how they portraying online. Like, that's a prop. You know, I, girl, <laughs> you know, I was shopping on Amazon one time. I'm put y'all up on something. I was shopping on Amazon one time and I had seen something pop up. Uh, it was like, uh, what was it? Fake prop money or something like that. I don't know why that popped up on my uh, little suggestions. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, oh no. Like, I'm like, where, where have I been? Like, I feel like I've been missing too much, but it was some fake money. So the, all is this fail of these bands you see him posting on land, that is not real. <laughs> He ordered that off of Amazon sis, and took a picture and posted it. Act like he was just uh he was um he was holding. You know he got it like that. He ain't got it like this. <laughs> just think if somebody got to do all that to try to portray to be you know to try to present themselves, they feel like they got to be flashy or they got to show off what they got. Nine times out of ten, it's not what you think. You know, that grass ain't green on the other side. Chris Brown said it best. Like this not. <laughs> It's not what you think it is. Um, so the, the if you really think about it, like the men that really have money and they have a nice lifestyle, they're not going to be bragging about it to you. You know, that's just something you just going to notice when you're with this person. That's why you need to take time to get the... Y'all need to start... Stop trying. If you out here, you just having fun. You might not even listen to me. But just listen, you know. When you out here trying to date these dudes, stop meeting all these men off the land. Like, first of all, that's dangerous, you know. And secondly... Um, I don't know. I, I heard the influence to talk about it, y'all. Like, when you meet up with a whole bunch of men online, like, the men think the men think that you're desperate, you know? Because the old way of doing it, like I said, the traditional way of meeting a person is meeting your potential girlfriend or wife is, you know, meeting them in person, you know? Y'all need to get off these phones. Like, stop being on these phones so much. And it's just putting you out of touch with reality. So then when you see, you know, when you finally see, you you can't even see what's real because you in your phone so much. And everything online is not real. Like, in, in some of my videos where I talked about um my opinions on the sugar daddy and sugar baby lifestyle, a lot of this stuff that y'all seeing online is not real. It's not what you think it is. Now, it is people out here that's living their lifestyle for real. They really out here getting it like that. But a lot of people, they're coming on here lying to you. They're not doing that. <laughs> so don't let nobody send you off now. Don't let nobody fool you. Um, a lot of these men, they, they trying to get, they trying to, they trying to finesse. Just like we, it's women out here trying to finesse. It's men doing it too. So... They need money. They ain't got it like that. So they're going to portray a certain lifestyle just to be able to obtain it. And they're going to be all up in your pockets. You know, they're going to tell you that they left their wallet at home. Now, I'm just sitting up here laughing. Like, it's not funny. It's kind of sad because it's like, I can't believe it's men sitting up here doing it. Like, I wish a, a man would tell me he left his wallet at home or ask me to go Dutch. Like, I'm just like, man, like y'all women like. No, baby. Don't, don't let no dude do you like that. No. And that's backwards. Like, he asking you to pay for the date. Or you... He didn't... He came out on a date. He knew he ain't had no money before he left. He just finessed you out of a meal. Just think. You paying for his date? You basically the man. That's something the man's supposed to do. He's supposed to be courting you. He's supposed to be spoiling you. Whining and dan you. You don't whine and dan no man. That's backwards. <sighs> and I know it's like this generation now. It's like everything is on social media. So 
dating online is like the new the new hype that's the new thing to do but if you can try to try to meet try to make some real personal relationships with people not just with men like just people period like get offline like y'all be so out of touch with reality now to to where um Everything that you see online, you believe that it's real and it's not. And that's how a lot of women, why I make these safety videos for women, like that's how a lot of women are getting tricked. And it's women out here getting murdered behind what, you know, a fake a, a facade. People be putting up a facade online and that's not really who they are, you know. So when you're going out on these dates with these men and they asking you, first of all, who sit up and ask a woman, do they man going Dutch before the date even happened? Like, how, why are you asking me? This is, I'm just putting myself in y'all's shoes because I ain't never been in these shoes before. Um, why would a dude ask you to go Dutch with him before y'all go out on a date? First of all, that's kind of rude and disrespectful because basically what he's telling you is you're not good enough for him to pay for your date, basically. But you asked me out though. Just think now. You asked me out, but you asked me, can I go Dutch with you? Or basically telling me that you don't got no money but you asking me out though so basically you asking me to take you out i don't know y'all get in the comments and tell me because i'm so confused like i ain't never dealt with this before like this is just so unreal like i can't believe it's men out here playing women like this like uh-uh baby no baby <laughs> no baby no no baby don't let him do that to you do not let no dude finesse you do not do that don't do that. <laughs> That's backwards. Like, the man get on one knee and propose to you. He asked you to marry him. So, what order is that? Where it start off? How would it look? You, say for instance, this dude end up being your husband. People gonna want to know how y'all met each other. How would it look if you told them, oh, we met, um, he asked me out online, and then he asked me to go Dutch with him, and then I paid for the date. Like, that's backwards. Like, <laughs> That's how you know the dude not right for you. He's not the right guy. When he's asking you to basically court him. Like he's the woman. You know? Nah. And you might have it like that. You might have the money. Like it is women out here where um. That's why you got to be careful with stuff like this. Like um. Telling a dude what you you know what what you do. Like how much money you make and stuff. Like y'all be setting yourself up disaster doing that. Like do not tell no man how much money you making. Like what you got. You know you basically. It be women out here to be bragging and showing off what they got and stuff. Like not even knowing that it's a man that's sitting in the uh. Sitting in the bushes waiting to uh pounce. You know he's waiting to finesse you. So don't be bragging talking about. I mean you might have it like that. But don't let him know. Shoot. They say, you know, you're going to have his hand out asking for some money. And you be so, that's why I say men play on women desperation. Like, he know that you probably, and it's not to talk about you, but a lot of us, we do be having them desperate moments where we be lonely and we be uh, missing being in a relationship. So we just fall for anything when it comes to a guy. But that's the last thing you want to fall for with a guy, like where you're courting him and paying for things. Like, he, you're not supposed to be mad. You're not supposed to be op opening your wallet for him, for nothing. So what you got a good job, you making your own money, you got your own business and stuff like you don't got nothing to prove to him because a lot of women be doing that to try to show a man like, oh, I got it like that. You know, I got I can pay for my own. Man. I brought uh, what's this um this whole level of community stuff like I like the fact that women are leveling up their lives and they're um they're getting yeah, they're getting their standards. You know, they know what they want and they know what how to get it from a guy. That's I believe I love women empowerment. I, be, I love the level up um concept, but. <laughs> You got to, you got to, you got to do that in a different way because sitting up bragging about your businesses and how much money you got, you're not going to get no benefit up out of that. You ain't going to do nothing but get finessed and used by, do, by doing that. So, baby, don't do that. <laughs> there, don't know, man. I mean, the only man that care about how much money you got is a man that's looking to use you. And I just say that first and foremost. I have never had to, and I'm just, I'm not even sitting up here trying to brag on myself. Like when I heard that women was sitting up here talking about the man made them pay for the date, and he didn't, uh, he asked to go Dutch. I'm just like, oh no, uh uh, no, don't let no dude play you like that, boo. Mm mm. This your auntie from YouTube or your cousin, whoever, your friend, your sister, whoever. So don't be letting your no dude finesse you like that. Like before the level up community even because before this even became a thing on YouTube to where women are leveling up their lives and, you know, stating their standards and stuff. 
this been what it is. Like it's been like this. I don't know why y'all just so just it seemed like you could tell like <laughs> some people just that's why you need that's why you need to educate yourself like instead of just looking at everything online because you ain't level up your life until you got online. Like until you start watching YouTube videos and stuff like you didn't already know this before you got on social media. You didn't know that a guy was supposed to pay for you. You hear you needed to watch a YouTube video or somebody give you tips and clues on how to uh be a high value woman, quote unquote. <laughs> You're supposed to already know that, baby. Like when you meet a man, it's already should be embedded in your man. Like he's gonna pay for me. This ain't no this ain't no gold digger video. Like I'm not trying to give you no tips and clues on how to be no gold digger. That's just the natural order. Like common sense. A lot of these videos y'all watching with these women where they're giving you advice about how to date, you know, and stuff like that. That's common sense. <laughs> like it ain't about being no gold digger, nothing like that. They, that's what, what a man's supposed to do. He's supposed to spoil you. He's supposed to take care of you. He's supposed to treat you like a, a queen. Don't they know all these videos you watching online? That's why you have to be careful what you watch online too, because a lot of this stuff is very misleading. And it's a lot of people out here misleading. Like it's it's a uh, the Kevin Samuels community. Um, all those men who just going to, on a strike, a, a a women hate strike, and they hate women so much, but can't stay out of a woman's face. Them type of men. You hate women so much, but you always complaining about them. You MGTOW. You all this and that, but you keep steady complaining and crying about women. <laughs> Y'all put two and two together. Like, ain't no man running nothing up over here. They already know what it is. Y'all need to, um, y'all need to start having better standards when it comes to these men. Like, these, and that's why I, it, I think I see it mainly with younger women where the man is like, um, skipping out on dates, making her pay and stuff like that. He ain't got no money and all this and that. You, that's why you need to get to know men before you just decide to say yes to a date. Because, nah. Mm -mm. Ain't no way no man should be sitting up making you pay for nothing. He said, they say, if he mention anything about not having no money, I will get, I will, and I've never been in this situation before, but I will give y'all a tip. Like, yeah, he do that type of stuff. I will get up and go to the bathroom so quick and dismiss myself up out of there and leave. Like he will be stuck with that bill because that's disrespectful. That's rude. Like a lot of these things this man is these men are doing, it's intentional. They know what they're doing. He know he ain't had no money before he came out on the date. A lot of men be doing that just to see how the woman gonna react. Like they they wanna see if you actually gonna pay. If you sit up there and pay for it like a fool, then of course he's gonna keep finessing you and asking you out on dates and, and expecting you to cover the whole bill. Don't pay for nothing for him. Don't pay for no meal, girl. And then y'all women need to stop being scared to say something to these men too. Like, that's disrespectful. Like, how dare you sit up and ask me to pay for a date that you asked me out on? That's that's like a slap in the face. A lot of it, like I said in an earlier video where I talked about signs that your man is jealous of you. A lot of things men do is very intentional. Like, they know what the hell they be doing. They be in a way trying to let you know when a man do stuff like that, it's like basically a slap in the face. Like he basically let you know that you're not good enough for, for for him to pay for your date. Because a lot of these men, they do be having some, they be lying. Like they be having money money in their pocket. They just want to be rude. They don't want to spend it on you because they feel like you're not good enough. Yeah, don't ever let no man ever make you feel like you're not good enough for him. I would get up and leave up out of that day so quick. Uh, okay, since I'm not good enough and worthy, worthy enough for you to pay for my bill, my meal, let me take my not good enough self up out of here and stick you with the bill since you think it's sweet. A lot of these dudes be trying to run straight game on you women because, and it's not to talk about you, but a lot of women that are young, they be naive. They don't be knowing no better. And a lot of these men be running game on you because they feel like you're not going you're not gonna be up on that. You're not going to be up on that game like that to, to uh, pick up on what he doing. So let me take my not good enough cell phone up out of this restaurant and stick you with the bill. I'm gonna happily go excuse myself. I'm trying to give you, I'm trying to help you now. I ain't never been in this situation, but I want to help you. I will excuse myself to the restroom and I will call. I will either go get in the car or call an Uber and I will leave. Don't let no man disrespect you like that. In the beginning, too, like y'all just met each other and y'all and he disrespecting you already. Ain't no way. 
Yeah, don't be letting no dude finesse you like that, girl. Yeah, I be listening to some of them videos and I be getting mad for y'all. Like, it seemed like y'all don't even be that mad. Like, I'm like, I would be pissed. Like, I would be livid. Like, I would be going off on him. Like, sitting there being quiet. No, I would make a scene up in that restaurant because that's disrespectful. Like, if he, he asks you out, just remember, he asks you out. So, why would you be paying for anything? Common sense now. You shouldn't be paying for nothing. And then most of y'all women, it's be gorgeous. And I be sitting up like, girl, you let you pay for that? You sitting up there looking like that? You pay for that, actually? You sit up there and spend an hour or two getting ready, putting on all this expensive makeup. Your wig is about, your, your, your everything that you have on costs way more than he's going to even spend on a date. So, I mean, getting ready for a date, that takes effort. Like, you just got to use your, just you just think, like, the wig that you pay for costs... Them wigs ain't cheap. If it's a human uh, lace front wig, a frontal or a closure, whatever, them things cost run about two or three hundred dollars or more. Then you and you, if you want to slay, if you want to slay your whole look, you gotta you gotta pick out an outfit. You gotta the makeup ain't cheap. You know you gotta put on makeup. You gotta put on lashes. Like all that stuff costs. And then perfume, cause you want to smell good, cause you want to make a good first impression for your potential husband or boyfriend. Just think, potential husband or boyfriend would not be asking you to pay for nothing. Like he wouldn't be asking you to open your wallet for him. That's the whole finesse right there. So he's finessing you. He playing you. You sitting up there and spent all this money um, on trying to make yourself look good. All this effort you done put in and trying to get ready for this date, and then you got to pay for the date too. Like no, nah, that's backwards. Like you don't do that. That's why y'all need to get to know these men first because a lot of these men that y'all be describing in these videos and stuff like they sound very immature like I wouldn't even get that type of man a time the time of day with me like he wouldn't even be able to get me on the date like y'all get to know these men like they be these type of men be petty like a lot of times when they be asking you to pay on dates and stuff like that that's him being petty like that's immature and childish like why would you even entertain a guy like that to begin with you don't do that Know your worth. You worthy of a date. You good enough for a date. Like in one of the last three times I um I gave y'all. I'm just I'm confused. Like dates I've been on, I've never um had to deal with that. I'm trying to see, like, no. I think it's a lot with the online dating too. Like y'all need to get to know people better before y'all um just say, hey, you know, agree to going out on a date with somebody that you don't really know, you know? But yeah, let the men court you and um treat you like a princess. You're a queen. You know, you're a woman. You you deserve that. You need to you need to feel deserving of that. You feel like you're not good enough. You sit down and talk to yourself before that date. Um <sighs> You sitting up putting all this love on yourself and how dare you sit up there and put on all this um this self love girl, this quote unquote self love you're also having for yourself where you're making yourself up, you polish, you know, and he asks you to go Dutch on him or you he you end up paying for the date. Like what was the whole point of you getting dressed up then? So you should have just stayed home. Right? You should have just stayed home. And if a dude ever texts you like that, then this is for this is for my younger women. Because hopefully older women did what well, this might see this video. They may know better, you know. A dude ever asks you to go dead Dutch or ask you if you got your hair, do not block his number right away. Don't go on a date with that dude. He's he's trying to be rude on purpose. Like that's being rude. He's trying to be funny. And for the people who don't know what trying to be funny, he's trying to be slick. You know, he's trying to he's he's being disrespectful. Okay. So yeah, especially if you're a young girl too, like it's supposed to be a given. Like he's supposed to already know you that girl. Like you're asking you're asking me to pay for you. Like I'm sitting up here looking like this and you asking me that. Like you and you might sit up here and say, Well, I ain't arrogant like that. I ain't I don't think I'm you know, I don't think I'm all that, you know, I don't think I'm better than nobody. When it comes to you dating a man, you better think you all that. You better think you um you that girl. I mean, I ain't saying be arrogant or stuck up or nothing like that. But you got to have some self-love about yourself enough to know that you're worthy of a date. Something as simple as a date. A first date at that too. This y'all first time going out and he already asking you to pay for something. Like, that's backwards. You know, it's that's something off with that. You don't let no man do that to you. And so, yeah, I'm going to come back with another video about this. Because I'm getting tired of y'all talking about how a dude made y'all pay on a date. I'm going to come through the video. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm gonna come through the video, girl. We gonna fight because don't let no men do you like that. Please don't. Yeah, if I ain't gotta pay for no date, you ain't paying for no dates either, sis. I ain't paid for no dates. So you ain't paying for no more dates either. If you didn't pay for dates in the past, no more dates to pay from this point on. If I ain't got to pay for no dates, you ain't paying for no dates either. Okay? <laughs> you beautiful, baby. Don't let nobody tell you or show you different. Y'all take care.